Hi, I would like to talk about the Sang4 NG Firewall Troubleshooting. Sang4 NG Firewall Troubleshooting has three buttons. The first one, Enable Packet Drop List. It able to display the drop packet while all the policies are still working. That is, the denied packet are still denied. The Enable Bypass or Packet Drop List, all the policies in NG Firewall are disabled. It allows the packets that should have been denied and listed on the page. The third one is the filter, where it able to filter which IP address to display in Enable Packet Drop List mode or Enable Bypass mode. First, we need to access a certain website. In our example here, we access BBC News website. We can see here, the bbc.com is already blocked by the NG firewall and this is the error page. In order to troubleshoot this problem, we need to enable the packet drop list. First, access the NG firewall. Go to maintenance. Troubleshooting. Click on Enable and enable the packet drop list. Now we access the website again. In order to troubleshoot which policy has blocked the website, as we can see here. The policy that blocked the website is the web filter. As for the enable bypass and packet drop list mode, this enables the customer to be able to access the website even though the NG firewall is already blocked. This button usually falls under to those customers who has emergency to access the website immediately. Now we access the bbc.com again. We can see here the bbc.com can be accessed and is not blocked by the NG firewall. However, under the packet drop list bypass mode here, we can see that the NG firewall is still blocking the website. But because it's in bypass mode, so the customer can access it. For the last one, is the filter IP button. This button allows user to enter the IP address that need to be displayed. In either the packet drop list mode or the bypass packet drop list mode. We can see here the packet show here is already filtered with the IP address I just entered. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.